So did you see the ad with my dad? My dad, the storyteller. He told me how the son of a slave became a sharecropper. The son of a sharecropper became a mason, and the son of a mason became an entrepreneur. Yeah, that's the one. But that's only a part of our story. My parents grew up in the Jim Crow South, where things were much different. Growing up in Mississippi was quite an experience. I was unable to enroll in the university just across the street. I went off to a school called Mississippi Vocational College. My dad's a humble guy. This is what he won't tell you. He was unable to enroll in the college directly across the street because he was black. In 1964, after the graduation, I moved to Toledo, Ohio. I worked there until I was drafted into the military, which included a, a tour in Vietnam. Came home in 1969 and got busy starting my own company. He's underselling it. He's not telling you that he had to move mountains to get his business off the ground. My initial application to the Interstate Commerce Commission for operating authority was in 1971. I went through these various appeals for an entire decade, including a trip to the United States Supreme Court. It was finally the late 70s and early 80s before we received operating rights to engage in interstate and foreign commerce in the United States. That's my father's humble way of saying that the government finally got out of the way and allowed him to be an entrepreneur. <laughs> that was where the real work began. <laughs> Now, my dad worked hard, but you want to know who worked harder? Like Sharon had the tougher job by far. I wanted the privilege of being able to raise our children. She's underselling it too. Raising a family is hard. They make a great team. I think the most important value to the way we raised our children was the incorporation of religion and God in our family. I'm proud of my family's story. I just hope that Liz and I can carry on the legacies that our parents have left for us. I don't think that their relationship is very different from the one that we share. At times, it takes a lot of hard individual work, but it takes teamwork as well. And that's the only way you can make it to the finish line.